Hello everyone, welcome back to Music Appreciation. Looking forward to what we're going to talk about today, we're going to continue our look into a few different countries' music, and today we're going to talk about the music of Mexico. I do want to say before we get started with this that there's a lot of Spanish words in this, and I do not speak Spanish, so I will do the best I can, but if I mispronounce something, I, I apologize. But today we're going to talk about the music of Mexico. We're also going to talk about a mestizo and sones harachos. Our central question for today is, what is one of the music types native to the people of Mexico, and what is its significance as a type of musical expression? So recapping what we have talked about before, this is going to be a constant thread that we talk about, where every piece of music that we will ever talk about, that can ever be talked about, has means, expression, and order. Means is the source of the sound. What is making the sound? Are there singers, guitars, drums, electronics, piano, drums? What is there making the sound that you are hearing? That is the means. Then the expression is what's the song trying to say? What is the message that the song is putting across? Or if there aren't lyrics, what, is, what feeling is the song trying to instill in the listener? Then finally, order is... What are the parts of the song and how are they laid out? For example, there's verses and choruses. Verses will tell the story of a song. But the chorus is the part that repeats over and over again, that the song keeps coming back to. That's a chorus. Or is there a verse, a chorus, then a guitar solo, then it repeats the chorus again, and then there's a bridge... What are the individual pieces of the song and how are they laid out? That is the order. I've suggested in the past that you can go to Genius Lyrics and look up the lyrics of a song and it will have a heading above each block of text saying if it's an intro or an outro or a solo or a verse or a chorus. It's a really good resource to help you figure out what parts of a song are going on at any given time. Same as we did with Cameroon, we're going to talk a little bit about Mexico itself before getting into the music part of it. So Mexico is a large country. There are many different regions. Mexico is directly south of the United States. Just like the United States, there are a lot of different regions of Mexico that differ in dialect, food, clothing, music. It's the same difference as how a southerner speaking English sounds different than a northerner speaking English or someone from the Midwest. That's what a dialect is, is the same language, but little differences based on region. And just like different foods, just like how in the United States, southern food is a lot different than food from New England or food from out west and clothing and music are the same way so just like in the united states mexico has these different regions where it's still the same country but there's just little differences depending on where in the country you are so before the spanish conquistadors came in in 1519 both religious and social music were important to the native people of Mexico. And when the Spaniards came for their colonization, they introduced a rich musical heritage with many different instruments and musical styles. Spanish music is very diverse with a lot of different kinds of instruments and feelings and sounds. And when the Spaniards came to Mexico, they brought that part of their culture with them. In addition, African slaves and Caribbean immigrants also influenced Mexican music because the North American slave trade was alive in Mexico as well, and the Caribbean is right there by Mexico in the Gulf. So all of these different factors were able to influence what became Mexican music. Because like we talked about before, when different people come to an area, they bring whatever culture they had before with them. So the natives had their own culture, the Spaniards had theirs, the Africans had theirs, the Caribbean people had theirs, and it all mixed together into what we would now call Mexican culture. 
This cross-fertilization of blending Spanish, Native, and African cultures produced a rich mestizo. And a mestizo is a mixed culture. So this mestizo is a rich musical life that's enjoyed around the world. This mestizo is what I was talking about before, where all of these different cultures came together and mixed and formed what we now know as Mexican culture. In, in our case, Mexican music. In today's Mexican music, the legacy of the past has been reworked because it was 500 years ago that the Spaniards came in. So over that time, there has been creativity of different people and different ways of life that have mixed together into the music. And each region has its own kind of music. It's definitely similar because it all has the same root, but each region has its own similar but distinct kind of music. These separate forms have original music forms and compositions, and some are more Spanish-style instruments, such as violin or guitars, but all of them have a special, unique feeling that is unique to Mexican music. That it has this exuberance and this joy to it that not a lot of other musical genres have across the board. Here I will link this video. The name of the song is The Mexican Hat Dance. And if you go to YouTube and Google Mexican music, this is the first thing that pops up. So this is not indicative of all music of Mexico. I'll put that out there. But it is an example of music made in Mexico. Music can be a prominent part of many aspects of life, such as birthdays, baptisms, weddings, anniversaries, funerals, civic ceremonies, like uh, awards or religious holidays, just like how we use it here, where in the United States, we have so many different kinds of occasions that we use music for. They are the exact same way in Mexico. And when you see these musicians, especially like if you're watching them on TV or something, they're just, they're always bursting with excitement and they're so happy to be performing music. It's weird to me that every video that I've seen of these people performing, they're always so happy and excited to be performing their music. It, it's really joyous to see. There are two types of regional music that we are going to discuss. Today, we're going to talk about one and tomorrow we're going to talk about a different one. So one type of regional music, the one we're going to talk about today, is from the Veracruz region. There are four instruments, the arpa, the requinto jarocho, the jarana, and the guitar. And the traditional songs are called sones jarachos. And one of the most famous examples of a sones jarachos is the song La Bamba, which I will link here for you to listen to. So go listen to that real quick, and then we'll continue with this. Like I said, tomorrow we're going to talk about a different region of music, uh, this time from Jalisco, called Mariachi. We'll talk about that tomorrow. So, wrapping up, what we talked about today, the music of Mexico. We talked about the mestizo brought about by the mixing of native, Spanish, African, and Caribbean cultures. And we also talked about our first example of regional music in Mexico, the Sones Jarachos. Remember to go to Schoology to complete your assignments today because that is how I keep track of attendance as well as your grades. If you have any questions or need help with anything, please email me and I'll do whatever I can to help. Have a good day.